Today's state is Maryland. The Chesapeake and Ohio Canal National Historic Park is a national historic park nestled in three different regions. They are Maryland, West Virginia, and the District of Columbia. It was established by President Eisenhower to preserve the canal structure along the Potomac River, which stretches over 180 miles from Georgetown, Washington, D.C. to Cumberland, Maryland. The canal begins at its zero mile marker at Thompson's Boathouse. Start here and run, hike, bike, or boat at least some of the miles along the canal, which is home to several wildlife and bird watching varieties. There are six visitor centers, including those at Great Falls Tavern, Hancock, and Cumberland. Especially beautiful in the spring, it is worth the stop to get out and stretch your legs. Number two, the Shiver Style Architectural Museum is housed under the roof of the oldest standing house in Frederick, Maryland. It was built in 1758 by the family of German immigrant farmer Joseph Brunner, who named his house after Schifferstadt, his hometown back in Germany. After changing hands several times over many decades, it was eventually purchased and restored to operate as a local museum. The sandstone was cut at a local quarry and was used to build walls up to two feet thick. A treat of the architecture buffs the roof in a unique feature of the house, which flares ease in a wishbone chimney. The house has preserved well, especially the original structure and detailing which bear German architectural influences and makes it's one of the best examples of German colonial architecture in the United States. Number three, Mallows Bay. A small bay in the Potomac River named Mallows Bay is known as a ship graveyard. While it is now considered a national marine sanctuary, years ago the bay was used as a salvage bay. More than 230 ships sunk in the river, 90 of which were steamships scuttled in the bay. These ships then formed a reef that is now a host to a variety of wildlife. Come visit the curious graveyard of ships. There is a boat ramp and pier allowing access to the Potomac River, and you can take a canoe or kayak out among the ship ruins. Around 100 ruins are still visible, especially the SS Okomak. Visit this curiosity and imagine life back when the ghost fleet that is now docked at the bottom of the bay were all functional ships awaiting their next journey down the river. This last picture is a map of all the sunken ships of the ghost fleet, as it is called. Number four, National Harbor is only minutes from D.C. by car or by ferry and is located on the Potomac River. It is a treasure trove of accommodations, shops and boutiques and places to eat. Family friendly fun begins at the Capitol Wheel, a 180 foot high enclosed Ferris wheel. From the top of the circle, riders have a terrific view over the Potomac River and they can see the White House, the Capitol Building and the National Mall. Families will also love the large carousel with its legions of whimsical creatures and the biking and hiking trails. You can also rent kayaks, paddle boats, and pedal boats. Warm Sunday nights bring outdoor movies, a candy shop is filled with plenty of treats, and a replica of a pirate ship offers fun for all. Number five, the National Aquarium. It is an award-winning facility on Chesapeake Bay containing more than 17,000 specimens of 750 species. Since its opening in 1981, its goal has been to inspire conservation of the Earth's aquatic species and resources. The museum is home to eight bottlenose dolphins, a multi-story Atlantic coral reef, an open ocean shock tank, and the critically acclaimed Australia Wild Exhibit, which contains an aviary and both land and sea animals. In this exhibit, visitors can watch the flight of kookaburras and rainbow lorikeets and see freshwater crocodiles and the ferocious barramundi fish. The Living Seashore Touch exhibit enables visitors to interact with sea creatures such as stingrays and horseshoe crabs. Number six, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum is a testament to the first railway line in America to transport people and their goods Initially constructed in 1830, the B&O line was Baltimore's effort at competing with the newly built Erie Canal, which carried goods to New York City. It is one of the oldest railroads in the United States, and its museum has the largest collection of 19th century American locomotives in the world. Train aficionados will marvel at the outdoor G-scale railroad and the indoor HO-scale model, and the enormous collection of locomotives, historic buildings, and small objects such as clocks, pocket watches, signals, and lanterns. 
Guided tours of the museum's restoration shop are available in the rides on vintage trains. Number seven, the Goddard Space Flight Center is a NASA research base in Greenbelt, Maryland, dedicated to developing and operating unmanned scientific spacecraft and satellites. This huge complex employs over 10,000 people and plays a vital role in our knowledge of the Earth, the solar system, and the universe. The Goddard Space Flight Center has a small visitor center that displays spacecraft and technology, an educator's research center, and lots of videos. Particularly popular is a video feed of the surface of our sun. Special events are held throughout the year, and a small gift shop sells reasonably priced NASA souvenirs. Number eight, Monocacy National Battlefield, the site of the battle that saved Washington. The Monocacy National Battlefield commemorates the American Civil War battle that was fought on July 9, 1864. General Early commanded the victorious Southern forces, while General Wallace was ahead of the Union force. Jubal Early's strategy was to fight battles throughout the Shenandoah Valley and into Maryland in order to divert the Union forces from General Lee's army, which was under siege in Petersburg, Virginia. Visitors can see all the important battle sites from the comfort of their car with an audio tour that can be downloaded onto their smartphone. The battlefield also has six hiking trails of various degrees of difficulty and the visitor center with exhibits about the American Civil War. Number nine, Ocean City Boardwalk. The boardwalk in Ocean City, Maryland began in 1902 when a group of waterfront hotel owners decided to build a walkway for the convenience of their guests. It was a portable walkway and was rolled up at high tide. In 1910, a permanent structure was erected, and after the boardwalk was destroyed in a storm in 1962, it was rebuilt to its current length of some 30 blocks or 2.5 miles. The boardwalk is liberally peppered with shops, amusements, eateries, hotels, and nightlife. It has ocean-facing and inland-facing benches along its entire length. Always popular are the Carousels, which is the oldest in the United States, the U.S. Coast Guard Lighthouse, and the Ocean City Life Saving Station Museum. Number 10, the Harriet Tubman Byway is a self-guided driving tour that winds for 125 miles through Dorchester and Caroline counties on Maryland's eastern shore, then continues for 98 miles through Kent and Newcastle counties in Delaware before ending in Philadelphia. It highlights 45 historically significant sites linked to Harriet Tubman and others seeking freedom from slavery in the mid-1800s. The byway was designated as one of the best driving tours in the nation by the Federal Highway Administration for its scenic beauty and significant history. Please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button or click on the frog icon on the video. Don't forget to click the bell to get notified of our future videos. And of course, please click on the thumbs up. And remember, stay young and have fun.